Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through a very important part, how to adjust audio settings for our recordings in the SmartMic Plus app. So let's go. Before getting into a detail, it is important to note that these settings only apply if your SmartMic Plus is connected with Bluetooth to your mobile and you are using the SmartMic Plus app to record. If you're not using the SmartMic Plus app or if you're using TR mode, these settings will not apply. Near the top, there is a switch for three mics, including the built-in microphone of SmartMic Plus, the microphone of your mobile phone, and the external microphone. When you insert another microphone or a headset with a microphone into the 3.5mm jack of the SmartMic Plus, the switch of the external microphone will be activated. Here, we can choose which microphone to use. We can either use one single microphone or use two. The important thing to note is whether you use a single microphone or a dual microphone, the audio tracks you record are all in stereo. The difference is that when you use a single microphone to record, you will get two identical audio tracks. If you use dual microphones to record, your left and right audio channels will come from the two microphones instead. Now let's move to the gain slider. What does gain mean? Gain can simply be understood as the adjustment of the microphone volume. Let's try it for ourselves. On the two sides of the screen, you can see the sound waveform indicating the level of the input sound while recording. When the input volume is too high, the waveform will jump to the top and turn red, which can cause the sound signal to be overloaded and cause distortion. So when we adjust the microphone gain, we wary not to overload the sound of the input signal. There's also a monitor slider. The monitor slider controls the volume of the sound you hear during the recording. This is important to note that the monitor slider controls the sound you hear, not the sound or volume of the recording. If you want to adjust the volume of your voice or background music in your recording, you will need to use the gain in music sliders. Hence, it is recommended that you record a few seconds of video or audio to test whether the gain and background music volume you set are appropriate before recording. For the mic mixing function, when two smart mic pluses are connected, TWS mode, the mic mixing parameter allows you to set the input of the two microphones to be either mono or stereo. For noise reduction, you can set the noise reduction level to off, economy, medium, and high. While recording on, you cannot hear the noise reduction effect, but you can notice the difference in the finished recording. Let's look at this function, the music slider. Why is it infused? SmartMic Plus has introduced a feature that supports automatic mixing. Before SmartMic Plus, we could only add background music in post-editing software after recording a vlog, for example. Now with SmartMic Plus, including background music into your recordings is as simple as opening your music player on your mobile while you're recording the vlog. The music you play will be mixed with your video in real time. Operating this is also very simple. You can switch to the music player on your phone before recording, play the music, and then switch back to the SmartMic app and start recording. You can also set the double-click power key function to start-stop music playback like shown previously. After you start recording, double-click the power key of the Smart Mic Plus and your music will start playing in the background. The slider on the music parameter can be used to adjust the background music volume. Now you know how to adjust audio settings in the Smart Mic Plus app. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact support at sabinetech.com. Thanks for watching.